Will the Steam machine be able to hit 4K 60fps when it launches? We'll test 7 games released across the last decade. Looking at the results, the pattern is pretty clear. A whole lot of you love my past video talking about the Steam machine that's coming up in 2026. So today let's put Valve's claims to the test and do something a little cursed. We're taking a 4 year old laptop, putting SteamOS on it, and then putting it through the ringer. We're going to be using it as a stand-in for the upcoming Steam Machine and to look at the lower bound of the performance that we can get from the new Steam Machine. Because if Valve is putting laptop class hardware into a little black console-like box, then it only makes sense for us to test an actual laptop that is the closest that we can get right now. So the goal here is simple. Will the Steam machine be able to hit 4K 60fps when it launches? My job is to get a worst case scenario for the possible capabilities of the Steam machine hardware. Let's quickly compare what we are working with. The Steam machine will come loaded with a semi-custom AMD silicon. The Zen 4 CPU and RDNA 3 GPU combined should draw about 140 watts of total design power, or TDP. This laptop, on the other hand, comes packed with an old Intel, yes, Intel, i7, and an NVIDIA RTX 3070 mobile graphics card, which should pull nearly a combined 180 watts. Despite this older hardware and the higher power draw, we should be confident that Steam's new machine would perform better than this laptop. Not only is it newer architecturally, but Valve is also known for its hardware and software integration, which means that the Steam machine should perform better or at minimum on par with this four-year-old laptop. So if this thing struggles, that tells us a lot about Valve's upcoming tiny little black box. Every test is being done at 4K, not 1080p, not 1440p, because Valve claims specifically that the Steam machine should be able to hit 4K 60 frames per second with FSR upscaling enabled. So we'll do just that. We'll test seven games released across the last decade and a range of optimization levels in game engines. Looking at the results, the pattern is pretty clear. Highly optimized titles like The Witcher 3, No Man's Sky, Hot Wheels 2, and Baldur's Gate 3 scale beautifully. They can take advantage of FSR, despite this being NVIDIA hardware. More demanding or less optimized engines, for example in Control, Space Marine 2, Eternal Strands, depend heavily on the raw GPU compute and memory bandwidth. This makes sense. The RTX 3070 mobile chip has the sheer raw power to brute force higher resolutions, but running unoptimized operating systems like SteamOS, which is not built for NVIDIA hardware, the seriously limited 8GB of VRAM on this laptop and the age of this architecture all begin to show. For titles with strong FSR implementations, the uplift is massive, often the difference between unplayable native 4K and stable gameplay. But for games that rely on ray tracing or have heavier shader loads, upscaling alone can fully compensate for the performance. This is exactly the kind of performance curve we'd expect from the upcoming Steam machine to follow. Great in optimized engines, very playable in older games, and challenged in next generation AAA titles. After a full week of testing, I'm finally able to answer the big question. Can this four-year-old laptop hit 4K 60 FPS in most modern games with upscaling? Surprisingly, yes, at least in the games that are designed for it. And that's actually a great sign for the future of the Steam Machine. Remember, the final Steam Machine will already have a much more efficient and better CPU, a much better graphics card, faster SteamOS integration, faster RAM, so it only sounds good news because if this four-year-old laptop can hit the baseline FPS that we want and that Valve is claiming, the Steam Machine should deliver a genuinely solid 4K 60 frames per second experience. Valve was not exaggerating. Thank you so much for watching. We're at 100 subscribers as I record this video. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for following me on my channel.